All right, today we're gonna look at a joystick hack. Um, basically, it's a joystick I got from the thrift store. It's just some old Kraft Thunderstick. It's like a computer joystick. Two buttons, and then the trigger button. Um, and as you can see, if you dismantle it, um, let's see, there's the wires that go up through it. There's um, there's five wires, red, white, green, blue. Actually, no. There's only four. I thought I saw another wire somewhere. But anyway, um, eventually, if I wanted to, I could hook up those wires. Um, so basically, when you press the button or something like that, it makes a different noise. But um, right now, we're hooking up this joystick to an oscillator. And this is... Um, the inside of one of mine. Let me turn it on. And uh, the oscillator, when you turn this pot right here, and that's basically just, you know, an ordinary pot. Changes the tone. But on a joystick, especially some of these older ones, they're bigger and easier to see. They have um, they have pots for the X Y axis or axis. So basically, it's just one of these pots that is sitting just like this inside here. It actually, would be like in there. But yeah, you can wire it up just like you would a pot um, on here. So instead of turning a knob you turn the joystick and then if you hooked up the buttons too I could maybe make um, maybe turn that into like a momentary switch possibly um, where it cuts the signal um, this one right here or maybe one of these two or I could maybe add in another another effect where it touches two connections and makes a different noise. So there's a lot of possibilities here. And you can also do this with, um, a lot of people build things inside uh, joysticks, old joysticks, the bigger ones like this. Or um, another thing you could do is get those, uh, even PlayStation 2 controllers, um, have the two of the little, you know, the thumb joysticks. Um, you could use those for a project, although, you could, those are still pretty expensive um, to just rip apart. A lot of times, some of these older, bigger ones are going to be cheaper and, and easier to work with, too, because if you see how big this pot is in here, these, uh, these solder lugs, they're pretty huge. If you get a PlayStation 2 one, you're going to have to, um, you know, the, those, uh, well, what you solder to is going to be really, really small. So, um, yeah, there's pros and cons to both. But kind of a cool little hack.